Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how the graphics settings work. So to view the graphics preferences, if you navigate over to the right side of the screen, you'll see an icon that displays two gears. Click this, and you'll be presented with a preferences dialog. Now in here, I have mine set to advanced settings. It, this opens it up to show me all the possible settings I have to work with. By default, yours may be set to basic settings. So let's talk a little bit about the basic settings. The basic settings basically work on a graphics quality. This is doing multiple things. So if I change my graphics quality to a very low, I might get 800 by 600 resolution and no shadows. It steps its way up all the way to extreme. Now extreme will use the maximum resolution of your screen display in full screen mode. Uh, it'll enable the highest quality of the shadows. It'll just set everything to its maximum. Now, if I switch over to advanced settings, it gives you some control to where you can actually dial in certain areas. For example, I can switch between full screen mode or windowed mode. Full screen mode allows you to change your screen resolution, queries your graphics card, and gives you all the possible choices you have. Switching to windowed mode, your resolution is really by the size of your window. So you can drag the corner of your window and you can size that any, any size you'd like. And then it'll give you, it'll let you see the display as you're, as you're dragging it. It'll tell you what the resolution of the screen is. So it's kind of a dynamic resolution. Now, multi-sample type and multi-sample quality level, they, they go hand in hand. The multi-sample type is really your anti-aliasing levels. I'm running at a four times anti-aliasing. If I switch it to one, that's essentially no anti-aliasing. And you notice my quality goes to zero. So I like to run at four and the quality to 16. So this gives me four time anti-aliasing, but with a nice quality to the edge. And down below is shadow mode. Now shadow mode, I can turn it off completely or I can go to low quality, normal, or high. Now shadows are one of the most expensive things to render. So if you have a very powerful graphics card, you shouldn't have a problem. But if it's questionable and you're seeing a performance loss anywhere, if you're noticing that you're not maintaining a very high frame rate, the first place to look is the shadows. So either you can turn them off or just drop the quality down and see what kind of an effect that gives you. Also, we have some camera controls. Now this controls, the near clipping distance will control how near to the camera uh, something, something can be before it's rendered. The default is 0.2 meters. So anything closer than 0.2 meters will not get rendered. And then the far clipping distance is the opposite of that. It's how far you can render from the point of view of the camera. Right now mine's set to 5,000 meters, which is also, I believe, the default. Um, any more than that is, is not doing you any good. You can't see anything past that anyway. I mean, that's really far out there. Uh, bringing that in can help you in culling some of your screen. So if you, if you feel that you still have a little bit of a performance, even after uh, making some of the shadow adjustments, you can try bringing in the far clipping distance. That'll also help with performance. Now, field of view by default is 60. I like to run it at 90. It gives me a wider uh, viewing angle. It does come at a cost because I render more things in my screen. But if you have a, a fairly high-end graphics card, you should be fine. By default, it's 60. I can show you how, that, how this works. By lowering the number, let's say 60, this is the default, and I hit OK, you see I've, I've zoomed in, or it appears that I've zoomed in. What I've done is I've just narrowed my field of view. I can go back here and I can set that to 120 and show you the reverse effect. Now I'm, I'm viewing it as a fisheye lens, but I, I get to see a lot of stuff in my field. And I just put it back to 90. I like, I like 90 for myself. Now these are also in the basic settings. This is the, the HUD display call sign and map. These are just toggles. If I, if I toggle the display HUD off and hit OK, you'll see everything disappears from the screen. I don't even have my icons anymore. I know what you're wondering.
how do I get them? The easy way is just to hit the escape key and that will pull up this control panel. From here you can just navigate to the preferences. That's where we were and now I'm back and I can enable my HUD. If I'd like to just turn the map off, I can just uncheck the map only and everything remains, just I won't have a map here. Let me put that back. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.